What is going on guys? So if you saw recently, I did a review of a film called Death of a Vlogger and I'm really a big fan of found footage mockumentary style horror movies and it got me in the mood to watch another one and this is another film that I saw a lot of positive reviews about before I went in to watch it and it sounded like something that would be right up my alley. This was also streaming for free on Tubi. I feel like Tubi always has a really good selection of like low budget found footage indie horror films. And the movie I'm going to be talking about with you today is Howard's Mill. Howard's Mill is directed by Shannon Houchins. An abandoned piece of farmland in rural Tennessee may hold the key to multiple missing persons cases spanning over 40 years. So I knew very, very little about this movie before I went in to watch it, went into it with an open mind, was excited because of a lot of the positive reviews that I read about it. And I was not a big fan of this movie. I respect it for the structure and the approach that the movie had to conveying its material, but I think it has a very sloppy execution. It's incredibly repetitive, and the third act was ultimately unsatisfying. And I'm gonna talk about it in detail when I break the movie down. So at the beginning of the movie, we are introduced to this documentary crew, and they are filming this man who his wife disappeared several years ago. And the two of them, lived in this rural Tennessee area and they were out on this piece of farmland and him and his wife were out there he looked away and in a moment his wife disappeared and so they accuse the man of killing his wife and when they go to do further investigation because there is no body and they can't find her they can't accuse him of it he a hundred percent says that he had nothing to do with it and so the documentary crew is interviewing him about this situation and they end up uncovering things with some footage that they see and it leads them down the rabbit hole to finding out that on this property in this specific area there have been six or seven disappearances over the years where people will randomly disappear and so the entire film is the documentary crew and this man who has been accused of murdering his wife go around and interview people and try to pull up information to see what is going on in this property what is happening what is causing people to disappear and can they find his wife and prove that he is innocent. So as I said, I did not really like this movie all that much. And I think the biggest issue for me with this film is the structure. The beginning of the film is you deep diving into this one singular person and his wife and, and trying to figure out what happened to her. Well, then it dives into this little girl and then the entire movie turns into an examination of this little girl's disappearance, how she's related to this other person. And it starts to open up a larger can of worms about what happened in this specific community. The problem is the film, rather than kind of just naturally letting these events unfold and have them naturalistically fall into place, it just feels like here's something new because we're running out of time with this thing. Here's something new because we're running out of time with this thing. And when you get to the third act to where it's supposed to be this big, powerful, emotional conclusion as to what's going on, it's so silly and dumb. It's, it's really hard to stay invested. I was hoping there was like a supernatural element twist to this, which there is, but the element isn't all that interesting. And honestly, so much of it is left unexplained. And as someone who really likes thought provoking, surreal, abstract pieces of film, when it comes to something like this, I want at least a little more explanation. I want you to dive into why this is occurring and, and understand it a little bit more instead of just leaving it completely open-ended to where I'm like, okay, I just spent an hour and a half watching this movie. Why did I spend an hour and a half watching this movie? Like, I, it's just totally unsatisfying. The other part of it is they, like I said, the husband at the beginning of the film is a big part of it. And they just cut away from him to do all this other stuff. And then like towards the tail end of the movie, they try to cut back to the husband and make him like the emotional crux of the film. But you haven't spent enough time with him and have any other information other than uh, he loved his wife a lot to really care about him all that much and his situation to where it's like, oh man, I really feel heavy emotionally for this character. It's just like really flat. And then in this type of movies, normally like the documentary filmmaker is shown a couple of times in this movie. And I feel like typically when you do that, you're trying to incorporate them as a character and make them a part of the story they feel like they just kind of jump in there to to have something
something going on and to have other conversations. There's a slew of random characters associated with the, the overall story that are introduced that just provide dialogue that doesn't give you a whole lot of insight into what's going on. Uh, it just feels overly expository and the exposition, if it's going to give you information as to what's going to happen in the third act, it makes sense. But in this case, it just feels like it's there to pad the runtime. As I said, I really liked the structure of the film. It feels very real in moments. Obviously, it's very low budget. So some of the editing sequences are rough around the edges. There's the boom sound effect, like when they reveal some information like a hundred times in this movie. And it gets really obnoxious after a while. I, I, was, I was to the point where I'm just like, I get it. Something suspenseful has happened. You've told us something about a character or something about a specific situation that's supposed to shock us and catch us off guard. But like, you don't have to play that sound effect for it to really sit with us and resonate. We get it. We understand it. We know what you're trying to do. And that became really obnoxious after a while. I really did not like that element of the movie. I think they could have pulled that out. Some of the, uh, some of the superimposed uh, video that they do where they'll like have a character over top of like farmland or something looked kind of cheap. Like the editing, just the editor didn't pay enough attention to really make it look seamless. And so that rough around the edges element mixed in with how little of the material packed an emotional punch really took me out of it. And it's unfortunate because you can tell they spent a lot of time and effort crafting the story and like giving characters so that there could be some kind of payoff, but it just doesn't lead anywhere. And that's upsetting because I feel like this thing had a lot of potential. So have you seen Howard's Mill? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was incredibly underwhelming. I was relatively disappointed, which sucks because I felt like this movie had a lot of potential. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to get more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.